Update your email message for a fresh start to your marketing. This is episode number 302 of the My Online Toolbox Weekly Quick Tips and Reminders in All Facets of Marketing to Help You Grow Your Business with More Quality Leads. A reminder, it's coming. We will be there at the end of February in Vegas, and we have an exciting ep- presentation that we're doing for managing expectations f- for your next prospect. Please uh, let us know if you'll be there, and we'd love to get a chance to meet you. Last week, we started with updating your voicemail message for a fresh start to your marketing, and this week, we're moving right into updating your email message, and we want to do is have you think about how you're going to respond to the person who's receiving the next proposal or or estimate or whatever document that you're going to be sending to help initiate a new relationship. And so what we're doing is taking, it's funny because this is a real example that somebody was showing us when they forwarded us um, a message that they sent to a prospect. And it basically just said to the prospective customer, here's your estimate. Hi, John and Michelle. I put together the information. Let me know when you wish to get started, Mike. And it was really generic and he's been doing it for so long. So we suggested that on his next proposal, go under the assumption that the majority of the competitors are not really thinking strategically in how they communicate. So you take this great effort in putting together whatever the proposal may be. And what we want you to do is just look up. You can't just listen. But here, we'll repeat for those that are listening and not looking. But instead of having it say, here's your estimate, we suggested to say the kitchen remodel proposal for your Newton home. Um, Because right there, you have a specific service and you have a location. And then instead of having just, I put together the information, we turned it around to, hi, John and Michelle, enclosed is the kitchen remodel proposal for your Newton home. And what we're doing right there is having hyperlinks Hopefully, if your website marketing is done correctly, those hyperlinks will go to a specific page to amplify kitchen remodeling because that's the service uh, that the prospect is interested in. And the Newton home is the location that the prospect's in. And in the second sentence, we say, we're looking forward to featuring your project on our portfolio page with the portfolio page being hyperlinked to the website and you providing another customer success story, implying that there's a landing page for reviews of other success stories with previous customers. And then we end with, please let us know by Friday if we can receive a commitment so that we can ensure to stay within the planned time frame. Always remember, you don't need to have ambiguity like get back to me when you have a chance and just have it open-ended. Try your best to be professional that if somebody's looking for something for, from you, you want to start pushing towards a date and not just be um ambiguous to when you're looking to follow up because as time goes by, expectations change. And then we end with simply thank you again for the opportunity to make your remodeling dreams come true. Mike Johnson, www.remodelingdreamscometrue.com with the phone number. A lot of this was changed just a little bit to make a point. But here, when we're showing the first example, again, it's so generic and not Uh, with any thought. So we just want you to take a moment and especially since my online toolbox is focusing with marketing objectives, we have many different drafts, permutations of drafts uh, saved to answer the most common topics that appear when we are working with new customers. But for the people that work with us, they're very well aware that pretty much on a communication by communication basis, the subject of the email is very applicable to the details of the email. But when it comes to marketing, you just wanna take a moment and glamorize your thoughts and leverage your website as best as possible so you could bring people to certain landing pages that will help amplify your message when somebody's comparing you to one of the competition or multiple competitors. We wanna remind people that if you're following us, please, Remember, these weekly quick tips are on both the My Online Toolbox Facebook page and YouTube channel. And if you want to push it into your feed, what you need to do is like these posts and make a couple of comments in the posts to teach both Facebook and YouTube that you're interested in the content so it gets pushed up to your feed when you, whenever you log into those social media mediums. And then s- separately is Instagram. We are now beyond 140 featured projects, so please do the same. 
uh, like a couple of posts, preferably even comment on a few of the posts. So Instagram gets to see that you're interested in sustained marketing efforts for your business. And for those of you new to our orbit, something new, which is the product My Online Toolbox has as the industry-specific marketing education classes. Our menus are being streamlined, and now you can just jump on over to products, and you'll quickly see the basic education for more leads right there on top. Highly suggest you get started there to change your marketing for life. This is My Online Toolbox providing weekly quick tips and reminders in all facets of marketing, and never forget to start planning yesterday for next year's marketing and profits. Have a healthy week and we will see you next week.